Today we're going to do a quick review about the Shiner Ruby Redbird Low Carb Ginger Grapefruit Beer. I may even drink one on screen. Hey there, njroot22.com with a booze review. It's the Shiner Ruby Redbird 95 calorie Texas Ruby Red Grapefruit and Ginger beer. It's a beer. I don't you let me hold it up. There we go. Anyway, I uh, I found myself experimenting a little more. I have my Smirnoff spiked sparkling seltzers, which I love, 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 love. They cause no problems. Everything's great. Ah. Ah. You can't get that, that feeling from any other drink, really. Every now and then I got it from a nice uh, wine, a watered down wine in similar fashion. But this is Ruby Redbird from Shiner. It's a 3.1 grams of carbs per can. And it's 4% alcohol. And that's about three times the number of carbs that we have in a typical uh, Smirnoff spiked sparkling seltzer. And I'm thinking if I drank six, that's 18 grams of carbs versus six grams of carbs in a six pack of um, Smirnoff. It shouldn't make a difference. And it probably doesn't. I've never drank six. The most I've ever drank in a day is uh, two, and I think I'm down to my last one or two cans over the last week or two. But I want to say something about it. Now, in a 3.1, I want to take a sip here. I have to say, if I was a beer drinker again, I mean, I used to drink nothing but Coronas and Guinness, and those were my two uh, best uh, beers. But if I was a beer drinker again, I probably would keep this in my rotation. I really like the taste of it. It's a nice, light taste, um, and I'm not I'm not knocking the product whatsoever. <clears throat> what I'm gonna knock is just beer in general. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, it's like already making me like <coughs> um, phlegmy. I guess wheat-based products in general. Again, I like the flavor. It's a really nice, uh, smooth, it's a perfect summer drink. Hmm. Let me fix that. It sure seems like a nice summer drink. Uh, so it's an enjoyable f drink, but I tell you, beer gives me gas. And when I drank, I think one night I had three, and then I switched over to something smoother and light, lower in carbs. I felt kind of crappy the next day. All day. I, I, I had that day after beer feeling. And I, 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 that was really the first time I felt it because after not having that day after beer feeling for so long and then in reintroducing it, it's definitely caused by the beer because my diet did not change at all. Um, and if you pounded a 12 pack, which is probably really easy to do, you're looking at uh, 36 uh, grams of carbs or actually more. 37 grams of carbs and, and then you're probably going to end up messing up your uh, ketosis and <clears throat> even though alcohol messes up your ketosis already. But so I, I like the beer. I guess somebody who's just tinkering around with low carb and wants to have one or two beers without really screwing up. I guess it's the, the least of the worst. Uh, see, I get gas from, from beer. I, you don't get it from the seltzer. I don't, this, I already feel shitty. I'm sorry. I probably won't finish the beer, but maybe I will. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, a, I'm committed. But uh, we're going to stick to our seltzers. And, uh, but you, you might want to try it. Anybody try, uh, going into the low-carb uh, arena might want to try it. But you're going to realize later on that no beer, no beer is worth it in the low-carb. And, and I think they have, like, really low-calorie ones and no wheat. I don't know. Stick to the seltzers. They're malt beverages and it, it's, seltzers are it. All right? So please subscribe. Hit the bell. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I made some sense, but uh, try them. They're pretty good.